The excitement is on. This week on the internet, we discovered the recipe for the home style black lion's carrot cake. I was a very big fan of this restaurant and a very big fan of this particular carrot cake. We picked it up very often. It's just one of those easy peasy pickups that we did and it was great to support local. Anyway, sadly that restaurant has closed since, uh, it was prior to the pandemic, I believe. And um, we all wanna know how to get our hands on a carrot cake that's just like that. Well, this is the recipe and we're gonna try it right here and right now. Stay tuned. So we need two cups of flour. We need two cups of sugar. I've pre-measured everything, well, almost everything. One teaspoon baking powder. Let's get the teaspooner out. Teaspooner. That's what I call it. It's called a teaspooner. So let's get a teaspoon out. And there we go, one teaspoon. So one teaspoon of baking powder. And that's what we're gonna put on there. Oops, there we go. Ooh, a little too much. We'll scoop some, there we go. Baking powder, baking soda. Same thing, one teaspoon. Should have measured these guys out. There we go, baking soda, baking powder. One teaspoon cinnamon, cinnamon, cinnamon bun. There we go, one cinnamon. Okay, three cups of finely shredded carrots go into this. So you've got your dry, uh, mix dry, dry ingredients first, then you're going to mix the wet. So we're gonna add the carrots. And it has a cup of cooking oil. I've, I don't carry anything else but olive oil, so I'm just gonna use my olive oil. And that's what I use. So I don't mess around with that a lot. I'm, I've, I have five kids. We've done a lot of cooking in the 31 years of marriage. And I can tell you, I use olive oil, just organic olive oil for pretty much everything. So we're gonna put that on in here. The four eggs that I that I'm gonna be putting in had to be warm, as in room temperature. So I've had them out on the counter for about an hour and they're warm enough. So let's just make sure that's cool. So we've got the olive oil, the four eggs, and, the, and one cup, one US cup of pineapple. The recipe calls for eight ounces, which I had to Google and everything because this is two cups. So it says eight ounces, but this is 398 milliliters which is equivalent to about 13. Anyway, long story short, I Googled eight ounces equals a cup. So I'm gonna be doing that in the cup. And these are the eggs. Obviously they were on the counter since before so that they would be warm. I'm not sure what that's all about with the warm part, but we're gonna do it the way that it calls for so that it's done right. I'm the queen of altering things, but not while I'm asking you to follow. I won't alter, promise. While I alter the olive oil, get over it. There we go. There we have it, the four eggs. Now we're gonna do the pineapple. Let me just wash my hands because I'm right down by the egg. There we go. I'm gonna have to open this pan and get a cup of this out. So we've got our pineapple, crushed pineapples. I greased and floured my pan. I'm gonna be doing it in that lasagna pan because I want to freeze some of it. I don't think we uh, will be able to consume an entire cake. So I'd like to be able to freeze it. I'll cut it into squares, you know, give some out to the seniors in my life who love this kind of thing. You drain the pineapple, eh guys? Do not use the pineapple the way it comes in the can. You need to get rid of the juice. So do that. So now I measured out, like I said, it's one cup of pineapple is equivalent to eight ounces, according to Google. There we go. So, cake is done. I did it this way, like I said, in a pan this way, because I want, first of all, it cooks quicker, and second of all, it's still 40 minutes in the oven, but it's, it's cooked through and through easily, and I want to give it out, so I'm going to cut them into squares and uh, bring them to the nurses at the hospital where my um, 
I'm, I'm in charge of the senior at the hospital, so I will be bringing it over there for those nurses in particular. And I put the cheese, the cream cheese, the butter, and the vanilla in this bowl. And I've pre-measured the icing sugar. As per the recipe, I can tell you that this looks pretty bloody amazing. This smells great. It smells just like home style, so that's good. So let's, that's all in the bowl. I'm whipping. I brought everything to room temperature because it's easier to whip. Adding icing sugar. It's gonna be gorgeous. Gorgeous. There we go. We're gonna add the rest of the icing sugar. It's going, I have a KitchenAid mixer. And when I moved into this house, I just found it took up the whole counter. So I got this one and I'm trying it out. I put my KitchenAid in the basement and uh, I'm trying this out to see if I like it. And so far so good. Like it's cumbersome on the counter every day. I don't make cakes every day. I don't use that thing every day. <clears throat> so this is in my kitchen quick, quick, quick. And I like, I like the idea of having my counters really clean. And I'm a I just like that. Just how I like it to be. Got a juicer to put on the counter. We've got a coffee maker on the counter. You know, too much counter. So not the mixer. We gave up the mixer. Now this is delicious looking. I don't know if it's going to taste like home style, but it sure as heck looks good. So I'm here to say that I think this recipe is what it's saying that it is. It looks delish. So we're at the icing stage. I whipped up the icing. It's cream cheese icing. And I'm going to spread it on my cake. And it looks delicious. And it smells delicious. And the reason I like a lasagna tray, like I was saying, is I like to give it away. And I like to freeze it. So if I'm gonna freeze it, I can freeze it directly in this pan. Or I can cut it up in squares. It's, it's not quite as fancy looking as the home style look, but they were a restaurant after all, so not the same. They had a skill that I don't have. So this beautiful number is delicious looking. And it is now iced. And I'll freeze a piece, give a piece, and eat a piece, let's be honest. There we go, the home style carrot cake.